timely aggressiveness or consistency which do you think is better what's up people of this weird planet called earth welcome to 2024 and episode 52 the first episode of hmi podcast in 2024 i'm your humble host Olua Damlai mapa and even though my mental health has been blocking my productivity the consistency must go on We'll be starting 2024 with an inspirational and influential human, an industrialist and a motivation, Henry Ford. Yeah, that dude that invented Ford Motors. Born on the 30th of July, 1863 on a farm in Springswell Township, Michigan. He was the firstborn of five children. And as the firstborn, you think he will be the one that will take control of the family's farm. But this dude hated farm work so much when he was young and throughout his lifetime. He was always trying to run away from farm work as he hated every bit of it. But he said that his love for his mom was what kept the farm a bit appealing to him. He was always seen taking watches apart, yeah, wristwatches, during his spare time or times he was hiding away from the farm. And the first ever job that actually interested him was being a watch repairman. How interesting which he was good at and did well until he changed his passion into something bigger when he saw a steam-powered engine when he was just 13 years of age, which extremely fascinated him. And his dream was to create something similar as a consistent means of transportation. This journey would start sadly with his mother's death and three years later, he got a job, which was his first learning point to achieving his dreams. An apprentice role in James F. Flower and Brothers who made machine parts and he continued to experiment as he learned new things from everywhere he worked. In 1882, at age 19, Henry returned to the farm to help his father and although he still hated farm work, he met a new love on getting back home, a Westing portable steam engine. He used and studied this machine until he became an expert in using and repairing it which eventually bagged him a job at the Western House Electric Company in Detroit. After which, he got married in 1888 to Clara Jane Bryant and they gave birth to the first and only child, Edzel, five years later, who temporarily headed his company. In 1891, Henry got a job at the Edinson Illuminating Company, which was majorly for the money because he was more concerned with creating a petrol-powered vehicle. And in 1896, he finally created his first prototype petrol-powered vehicle. He called it the Ford Quadracycle. But now, what remained was who would fund the commercialization of this new prospective invention. He presented his prototype to the Edison company executives, including Thomas Edison, who was intrigued by the invention but didn't sponsor it. This good remark from his boss was good enough for Ford. So he went on to create a newer and improved version of his quarter cycle. It took years of several investing and partnering to commercialize his prospective invention before it finally worked out, which made him further improve his invention. The first most successful rollout of affordable Ford cars came out under the Ford Motor Company formally in June 1903. At this point, Ford was the only company producing automobiles for the middle class and it was only about to get better when he produced the car that made him dominate 48 percent of the automobile market in the u.s named the model t released in october 1908 also using his brilliant assemblage strategy which reduced production time and increased production rates and in turn generated more income From there on out, the Ford company grew exponentially to the 120-year-old company known today. Ford's son, Edsel, took over as the president of Ford Motor Company in 1919, but unfortunately, he died in 1943, aged 49. This is when Ford had to assume presidency again at almost age 80 with very poor health but with his failing health he had to step down for his grandson henry ford ii to take over in september 1945 and retiring afterwards henry ford retired with definitely a fulfilled life although filled with several controversies that even multiple episodes can't discuss As everyone will, Ford died on April 7, 1947 of a cerebral hemorrhage at Fair Lane, 
his estate in Dearborn, aged 83, after his company was already in every continent in the world, a farm boy to a multinational company founder. Well, that's it on episode 52 of HMIH Podcast with Damilari Mapa. Thank you very much for listening and I hope you gained one or two things from it. Please kindly follow us on our social media platforms um, at Damilari underscore Mapa and drop a like, drop a comment on different platforms. We'll be expecting your feedback. Thank you very much for listening and I'll see you guys in another HMI podcast episode in February. By God's grace. Peace.